And then when you're done, when you look at this like casually from a distance for a few feet away, it's just gonna look amazing. All right, so we're carving rocks. So we got kind of a, we're the lines of the stone that way. So we're kind of gonna match it on the other side too. So I'm gonna kind of do some long, long drawn out slices to make some grooves. Match the groove here on the top. Just dig the blade in there and kind of pop that foam out. Not being very precise, I'm just kind of, you know, a little bit haphazard. But that gives you, once you have a little bit of depth to profile, then you can come in here and kind of smooth some of this out. Got to get rid of the, the groove lines that was already in there. So I'm going to go a little deeper on this side. Make it rain. Raining foam. small cuts to kind of change the angle up a little bit. This is, yeah, because this is a like a was a three inch thick piece of foam we have more more depth to work with so you can go a lot a lot more a lot deeper in and it's gonna look better too. Getting there. You have nice clean cut cut edges. Draw the knife in and pop it out. Otherwise you get more of that textured surface of the foam. Just broke that right off. So I get a little bit different elevation. So after carving, now we're going to get our ball of tin foil or a rock or whatever you want to use and just roll it around in here and it's going to create little divots, little indentations. It's going to rough up the surface, make it look a little more natural. So all you do is with a little bit of pressure. Now can you zoom in and see what that, what that did right there? Just doing that it gives you all the little variation on the surface so you don't have that, that perfectly clean cut surface it makes the rock look a little rougher. Just kind of roll it in there. So when we paint this, then we'll have, you know, we'll do our base coat of black. And then as we dry brush, it'll bring out all the detail. I'm pushing kind of hard because this is pretty strong foam. So it does take a bit of a pressure to rough it up. That's basically it. like, for example, here's a painted piece, different color, same process, carve and then roughed up with the with the foam and then painted and dry brushed. So it'll, we'll be doing a different color, but it'll look something like that. All right, your turn. Just like that. Yep. Push pretty hard. Give it a good good amount of effort. I used to have an old piece of. A brick that was real jagged and broken. I used that and I rolled it around because it had a couple of real sharp edges that made some deep marks in the foam. But uh, I lost that piece and just been using a ball of tin foil since. That looks good. Yeah. So that's what we end up with, a piece of foam that's carved and then textured with the ball of tin foil. And next it's going to be time for paint. All right, so continuing the video here. So we're doing our first coat of paint. This is just acrylic craft paint from Michaels or Walmart. Just black base coat, watered it down a little bit so it runs and flows into the cracks. And we'll paint all these rocks with probably two coats of black and then we'll start dry brushing them. Okay, so these have dried for a day, the base coat. 
and you can see we have some areas where the pink is still showing through, just where the paint was a little thin because we used a watery first coat. So we're going to do a second coat on this, all of black, let that dry, and then we will start uh, doing our dry brush layers with the grays. I think we watered this down a little too much. And if that's the case, you can do some straight black without the water if you think you need a thicker coat. Do you find painting relaxing? Yes. Me too. I find stabbing things more relaxing. She's a bit weird. Okay, I have to edit my sister out of this video. We've done our black base coat now, and we are going to start a gray coat. We just mixed some white in here with the black we had, and we're going to start basically dry brushing a base coat of, of gray color onto here. And you're gonna rub most of that paint off on the paper towel, so there's not a lot of paint on the brush. You don't want to go too heavy. Though this is our first coat of you know gray, so we we are gonna go a little heavy on this one. See, I am actually painting most of it gray because we're gonna we're gonna end up doing some highlight coats later, but we want most of the rock to be a gray color with a little bit of the black showing through. So even on the sides here, I'm running the brush in there. Trying to get most of it, most of the rock to have some color on it. A little more paint, get it off. And one thing with dry brush, you kind of want to stay the same direction with the brush strokes so it uh, kind of gives a consistent look. Doesn't really matter what direction you pick, as long as you kind of stay in that same direction. I'm putting quite a bit of gray on here, so only a little bit of the black base coat is left exposed. And all that texturing we did is now starting to show up. All the grooves we cut, the, the marks we made with the tin foil, that's going to start showing up. And that's basically it for this base coat. We'll do another, we'll do a little more video later on when we get to a, a, another highlight coat. All right. Okay, so now we're just mixing in a little more white into the gray base coat that we had. So this will lighten it up, and we'll, we'll use this as the first kind of uh, dry brush highlight coat. We'll get the edges of the rocks, um, just all the, you know, the projecting areas with this. And then we'll probably do a fourth coat, even lighter color than this. All right, so this is going to be our first dry brush coat. Rub most of the paint off the brush, and I'm just going to start going back and forth very lightly, and I'm going to kind of hit everything, the whole surface here a little bit. So definitely bring in a lighter gray color to everything. And then we'll hit this again with an even lighter white highlight dry brush next. But it's okay to still go kind of heavy, um, even this like intermediary coat. Light, lighten it up really good, good amount of white. We want a really light color for this final coat. We're going to come along here and just hit the very edges with this really white color. It's still a gray, but it is almost a white. And this time I'm going to really get the brush. So there's very a little bit on there. And I'm just going to go along the edges like this. And this just highlights the edge of, this, edge of the rocks. So this time I'm not bringing it all the way across like every surface. I'm just going to drag a little bit of highlight here on the edges. Just the raised portions of the rock. Barely any paint going on here. And especially on the tops, we want to hit the, the edges up here. Kind of like, I think like a sunny day and where the light kind of hits the rocks. Again, it's still not that precise. It's still kind of sloppy. So it's not that hard to make it look good. You just gotta make sure the big thing here is just not too much paint. Go with less paint if you're questioning. And you can always add more later if, it, if you don't think you did enough. But ooh, that, like, that's almost too much that I just did there. So I'm just gonna wipe that with my thumb a little bit. Blend that out a little bit. Camera there. Yeah, it's pretty 
see what I'm doing. Just yep. kind of going along the edges here. You'll do the next one. Oh boy. You do it just a little bit of paint, not much. And then when you're done, when you look at this like casually from a distance from a few feet away, it's just gonna look amazing. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So that's that final detail coat. And then last thing, we might try some washes, some watery browns and reds and yellows, just to add some color to it, if you want. Let's zoom in, so this is finished product right here. Gonna give them a little turn around a little bit in there. Yeah, you can see, so you see the highlighting we did. So that was, that was a black base coat, which we actually did two coats on. And then a lighter gray base coat, which covered most of the black. And then a lighter, dry brush which just kind of hit the highlights of everything and then a fourth really white gray just the edges of the rocks and uh, that's it so no washes or anything you could do some washes on here or you could add some of that green moss they sell with train sets um, there's other things you could do but for right now for right now that's uh looks really good so pretty cool so first time painting rocks right yep Awesome. Very, very hard to handle as well. <laughs>